welcome back and today's going to be a whip and chat day and we're just going to whip and we're going to chat and i'm going to tell you what's been going on this past week and all the fun stuff if there is any uh that's been going on i don't really okay y'all are going to think i'm losing it i probably am but um <clears throat> before we go any farther um, I am still working on my uh, crystal diamond painting from Crystal uh, Crystal Arts, and um, I'm enjoying it. Those of you that are new, that are new to the channel and haven't seen the 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 image, this is the image. I tried to find it on their website. I couldn't find it, but um, it is I. I it looks like it's, I think it's a landscape. I can't really tell. But uh, it's a 40 by 60. And I'm really, really enjoying it. So um, this was a gift from uh, one of my subscribers, Rachel Ray. And we are on the, one, two, three, four, fifth section. So I haven't really worked on this so much this week or last week as I wanted to. We just... Uh, didn't have a really have a chance after I did my uh, whip and chat last week I kind of put it uh, I put it uh, just left it sitting here and or actually put it aside to work on the one that I do for my um, true crime video and well I didn't really and then I put you know then I switched out and I haven't worked on it. I just, it's just been sitting here. I know, really bad, right? So, I hope everyone is well. I, please, I'm going to say this. I can't, I haven't really, really, you know, kind of, you know, promoted the whole, you know, wear your mask thing or whatever. And, or on my channel, I just kind of just, you know, I've been trying to, avoid the depressing thing of COVID and try to like cheer everybody up during whipping chats and obviously it's not working because you know that's another that's I've already put my thoughts out on that from last week but uh it hit home for me kind of well no it did uh Justin had messaged my grandmother or my my grandmother my mother on Facebook the other day to ask her because uh, my mom makes uh, homemade mac and cheese every used to make it every year and if not then my gra my grandfather would and so when he died my mother kind of sort of took the the um, the tradition up and started making it and so even though she didn't doesn't really do Thanksgiving and doesn't have a big dinner she makes it and brings it over for us to eat and so Justin messaged her and asked her if you know she could make it well my mother has COVID I didn't know this and so he comes out and he's kind of he's not you know like upset but he was kind of shocked he says mom I said what he said did you know that grandma has COVID I was like what I know and um so I texted her and I asked her I said are you okay how do you feel and so forth and now, my mother wears her mask all the time, especially when she was going out, and she was social distancing, so forth and so on. Now, there could have been, a, you know, I don't know how she caught it. She didn't say, um, but uh, obviously, you know, she caught it. But she was, uh, she let me know that it wasn't really as, it wasn't, how do I put it? It was a, it, she, she felt like she was having a minor case of the flu. And I told her, I said, well, you need to stay safe. And I didn't ask her anything about where dad was. I didn't, you know, 
I didn't say a word. I didn't even get that far. And um, I kind of, because I don't really go anywhere, and I don't really, you know, get, go out and do whatever, I, and when I do, I always wear my mask, and I come home, and I am constantly washing my hands. And um, so I didn't even go, you know, try to even ask her, you know, what the deal was and so forth. Because um, she, my, my mother is, my, my parents are very, very active as in the community. They go, they do all kinds of things. So she could have got it anywhere from anybody. And I, you know, and I told the kids, I said, this is why I pound into your heads about constantly washing your hands, making sure, you know, your rooms are clean, making sure, you know, you help me keep the house clean and so forth because, you know, I, I'm paranoid. And even though I don't go anywhere, I mean, when I have somebody knock on my door, I put my mask on. That's, you know, just me. And I didn't used to do that. But uh, it's gotten really, really crazy. And I didn't know it was this bad until I was watching the news this morning and almost every state is in the red zone. And I was just like, are you serious? I mean, seriously. And all I can say is, guys, please be careful. Please be safe. This is this mess. This is not something to mess around with. And I have always, and it, you know, it's funny. I sat here the other day and I always, you know, was having, I don't know what you want to call it, but I was having these like daydreams of what, I would do if anyone in my family ended up with this and now that it has oh my gosh it, it's I mean she sounds like she's fine but I haven't actually talked to her on the phone so I mean if she swears up and down she's fine but knowing my mother and this is just you know my mother, my mom is one of these ones that kind of, I don't even know how to put it, kind of lets it flow, you know, just lets it like roll off her shoulder and so forth. And it's, and I'm not saying, you know, she doesn't, you know, give a crap that she's, you know, got it. I mean, granted that she does but I was shocked because she never and when she's sick she's sick so I knew when she told me that she had it I was like oh my gosh you know or when Justin told me that she had it I was like you're kidding and she doesn't let anybody when she's sick she doesn't tell anybody she's sick and the only people that really know are you know, my dad, because, I mean, it's just my dad, and it just, it took me by surprise, because, number one, she never tells anybody anything like that, she just kind of just, you know, keeps it to herself, and just like one year, or last year, at some point, she fell, and broke her leg in two places and had to have pins in her legs. I wouldn't have known if um, my uh, daughter, Marie Ariel, hadn't told me. Not because they don't keep in contact with me. I think part of it is is that my parents just don't like to worry people. And so, you know, that's probably why she's not, you know, why she never said, you know, let me know, okay, hey, I've got COVID, you, you know, because we don't go over there anyway, and she doesn't come over here, and more so now, 
that uh, she doesn't, you know, they don't, you know, come over here to, you know, pick Justin up or anything like they used to because of this. So, again, when I found out, I was like, really? So, she, you know, like I said, she says, she says she's fine. But, um, you know, I'm going to still keep my fingers crossed and keep praying for her because, you know, everybody tells me it can turn worse in, like, the snap of a finger so I would ask you all just to you know keep her in your thoughts and stuff because this is not something to mess with and I don't it's gotten to a point now this is bad it's gotten to a point now where I don't I mean like Justin he still tries to go and apply for jobs and wears his mask washes his hands and so forth but I'm getting to the point where I'm getting paranoid to even let him go and do anything because um, you don't know if, you know, you're going to catch. So it, it's, it's one of those things. But uh, yeah, please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. I, I'm not saying, you know, she's going to, you know, get really, really deathly sick. But still, I would really, really appreciate it. So, with that being said, so guys, please be safe this Thanksgiving. Um, I don't go anywhere, so it's just going to be me and the kids. And um, we're just going to kind of just, you know, stay here like we always do. And I've got everything I need for... Um, Thanksgiving and so forth and except for a couple things that I'm going to need to get somebody to go pick up and uh, and I got a piece of hair so um, and uh, that's really it the only thing that's really happened around here that's really kind of been, you know, well, there's been a couple of things. Sky has been bugging the living crap out of me. He knows that Thanksgiving is coming. <laughs> and all weekend and all week last week, he's like, Mom, yes, how many days do we have next week? Or no, I'm sorry, he didn't know until I told him. And uh, so now, ever since I've told him, which I probably shouldn't have said anything, but <laughs> he comes out and now, and he's like, so Monday and Tuesday we have school. Wednesday and Thursday we don't. I said, right. He says, do we go back to school Friday? No. You have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. And then you go back to school after the weekend. So all together we have five days off. Yes. Okay, now, you know, of course, he'll probably do the same thing when it comes time for Christmas vacation, and he's, you know, he thought, because he asked me, you know, how many days is Christmas vacation, and I told him, I said, well, it's a week and a half. I said, now, when, you know, a long time ago, it used to be two weeks, and of course, you know, he wants it to be two weeks, but it's not. So it's, it's a, he's kind of not thrilled, but you know, getting back to the Thanksgiving thing, he has, this morning he even got up, you're going to be glad you don't have to get up at seven o'clock, right mom? Mm, no, because mommy still gets up at seven o'clock regardless. And uh, he says, well, I don't have school Wednesday. I understand that, but mommy still gets up at 7 o'clock in the morning, regardless of whether or not you have school. It doesn't matter. I, I try to sleep in, and it doesn't matter. And he says, but you can sleep in. No, because mommy doesn't get to sleep in, regardless of how late I go to bed, especially if I know that, you know, there's no school the next day. I can stay up until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, but still get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Which, he doesn't understand that. And my grandfather was the same way. He could sleep, you know, he could stay up 
all, you know, till 11, 12 o'clock and then get up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and be up. And that be it. And I told him, I said, it's the same way. I'm, I don't know why. Now, I said, I don't know, you know, if your grandfather's like that. I said, but my grandfather, yeah. And um, he just looks at me. He's like, but why? What is there to do early in the morning? Uh, not a whole lot because I'm one of these ones that if I get up that early, I don't want to wake my kids up. So I just, you know, make my coffee and uh, try to wake up and, you know, watch the news and so forth. And then once everybody wakes up, then I'll start uh, doing what I need to do, you know, household wise. And that's it. And uh, most of the time, it's trying to clean up without waking them up. And getting um you know getting you know stuff straightened up and so forth so i think they think that i do nothing i've been told i don't do anything anyway so but no then that's not true either so um then Miranda's boyfriend has been kind of down in the dumps. And um, last week, he had taken a couple of days off because he has a truck that his dad uh, signed over to him. And it was supposed to be as a gift. But unbeknownst to him until, now, until recently, it wasn't. His dad kind of goofed up on that or something. I don't even know to be truthful. Well, he's been stressing. He's been getting depressed because he's going to have to sell the truck and get himself one, buy himself one that is in his name. And he's kind of, you know, down in the dumps about it. And so he's been not been the most cheeriest person in the world. And, of course, you know, I knew, especially this weekend, because he's usually, like, goofing off and usually, you know, antagonizing just or Skylar or Justin or one of them. No, not this weekend. And I kind of, you know, I could tell. And I had to, like, you know, try to tease him and cheer him up, and that didn't even work. So I knew that there was, you know, something, and I could tell that he was getting, um, like Saturday, he was supposed to go, uh, to this place, there's this place in town, which I didn't even know existed, and he was supposed to get the tag and title transfer, or whatever, well, he forgot his mask, and he comes back here, after he forgets his, mask, forgets his mask, then he, uh, on his way back here, he was going to stop at gas station and put gas in his car, in his truck. Well, he didn't get to do that either because he forgot his mask. So he just, his weekend and his week just wasn't the greatest in the world. So he's, I'm hoping that, um, this week is better for him because I told him, I said, you're not depressing me. I said, no, no. So he was just kind of like, I'm not trying to. I said, I get it. I said, but mm -mm, you're not depressing me. Ain't happening. because, And I feel bad for him because he needs his vehicle. Because he needs it to go back and forth to work. Um you know, to help his mom and his stepfather out and so forth because, you know, there's a lot of things that his parents can't do and, you know, he stays home to help them out or he lives there to help them out. But, you know, he's trying to 
it's going to be hard if you can't find a vehicle. So, he's, you know, trying to find something. And I'm kind of hoping that he will because um, he needs it. And I told him, you know, he, he was trying to decide if he wanted a car or a truck. And I told him, I said, well, this is just my opinion. I said, because you work here and you do maintenance and, you know, they have, you need tools or whatever for your job. I would get a truck. I said, this way, you know, you have a place for your tools and don't have to worry about, you know, all that. I said, because the other two maintenance guys have tools and or have trucks. And, you know, he's like, yeah, I know. So, he didn't really say much uh, yesterday when... Uh, you know, I don't know what he's going to do. He hasn't really said. So he's just kind of down in the dumps. And I'm trying to keep him, you know, trying to, like, not tease him too much. Because I don't want to offend him in any shape or form. So, yeah. So it's been kind of, you know, one of those weeks here. It's And, no, it hasn't been a bad week for me. It's just been a bad week for everybody around me. Which I, I think is kind of weird. But what can I say? Um, this weekend was pretty, you know, quiet. Uh, I ended up not doing my live yesterday because I woke up with a really bad headache and I, even though I had scheduled it, I was going to, you know, try to do my live yesterday, but my poor head, it turned out to be a slight migraine and I just ended up laying down all day because I just felt like poop all day long. So I didn't do much of anything yesterday and I missed my live and I feel bad, but that's okay. So I do apologize, guys. I know, you know, there were a lot of you that, you know, wanted to, um, that, you know, come in during my live and I apologize. It wasn't intentional. It just, I mean, I took ibuprofen thinking that it was going to go away. Then when that didn't work, I took some Excedrin with migraine and, yeah, ended up finally going away after, um, gosh, late afternoon. So I feel better than what I did. And I felt better than what I did. But I kind of felt bad because I felt like I was letting you all down because of, you know, not being, going live so forth. But it happens. Uh, let's see what else has been going on. Um, hmm. Skylar's getting a new laptop. Not from me. I'm not buying it. Um, they, the school, had sent a uh, parent link phone call out to all the parents telling us that they would be starting to switch the laptops out. Now, he has a laptop here. Now, I don't know what the difference is going to be. I didn't ask, you know, I haven't asked. But there will be he will be getting a uh, another laptop so I'm just waiting for them to tell me when we can go pick it up and of course Skylar's like am I gonna get a, 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 a better laptop I don't know I don't know what the deal is I have no clue they haven't said so we're kind of waiting to see about that and um, of course, you know, they were kind of, I, I don't know what the deal is. So, we're just going to wait on that. So then, I started getting packages in the mail last week, Christmas packages. And jo Miranda's like, well, where's your Diamond Art Clubs? Because I was hoping to get them last week. 
because the email I got from Diamond Art Club said that, you know, the painting that I had ordered, one of the paintings wouldn't be available until the 15th. So I'm kind of waiting. Now, if I don't see here anything today, I'm just going to um, message or email them and find out what's going on because I haven't heard anything and I haven't gotten any kind of um, email to let me know, oh, it's been shipped or anything. I, I don't know. I'm kind of, you know, I'm not stressing, but I think my daughter is because she had informed me that they were going to be Christmas presents. So I'm kind of hoping, you know, they come soon. We'll see. I'm just keeping my, my fingers crossed because I, I ordered a diamond painting pen too. So we shall see what's going on. And I had one of my subscribers call me yesterday. She, uh, <laughs> she says, my apartment is flooded. I said, what do you mean your apartment is flooded? She says, something's wrong with my heater. And I said, did you call the maintenance people? Yeah. She got up yesterday morning and um, came out with, to, it came out to an ankle full, an ankle the she was an ankle deep she was ankle deep in water and so her she was concerned because she has uh you know goldfish and there's i think um she has an iguana i get i think that's what they're called that they're i don't know i think i don't know so anyway <laughs> so she was kind of um stressing about that and I told her I said well what are they telling you and she says oh it'll be fixed I have to have a whole new unit and it'll be fixed in two or three days and I was just like are you like kidding me right now so she was just like this is a way to start my week off and we'll start my Thanksgiving week off so yeah she's kind of blah and I told her, I said, well, I'm sorry. And she says, no, it's not your fault. She says, you know, she says, it's just going to get cold, colder at night. And I just don't want to be stuck freezing my butt off. And, which I can't say I blame her. So, you know, hopefully, um, they can get it fixed. Because I kind of feel bad for her when that happens. So, we'll see. But, I mean, I told her, I said, I know how you feel. I've been there. I've done that. And it's not any fun to, you know, be stuck with um, no heat and have to get a whole new unit. I said, I remember those days when that happened because uh, 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 not fun at all. It is not the greatest, you know, because me and the kids bunched up um in the living room or the bedroom and wrapped up in blankets it's not fun it's never fun so yeah it's mm -mm. I don't wish that on any person now as for having water from my heat come out no never had that problem so I don't know why that happened to her and how that you know happened it I, I'm not an HVAC person, so I wouldn't know. So, she's, you know, she said, if I need anything else or need, you know, somebody to vent to, I'll call you. I was like, okay. So, I'm kind of over here, sitting here, waiting to see if she calls. My phone is by me, and we shall see if she calls or not. Uh-huh. Um trying to see what else has been going on this week and what I can remember. I didn't write it down. I usually do. I usually have, you know, something over to the right of me kind of talking about, kind of writing down what I'm talking about for the week. And I can't think of anything. This is bad. Uh, 
goodness guys oh I do have an announcement Thursday there will not be a true crime video I will do it on Friday I just wanted everybody to know in case somebody you know Thursday starts you know wants to watch the video and it's not there no it will be up on Friday I will uh, have it up and ready for to view on Friday and uh, let y'all you know listen and so forth and I speaking of that oh you guys got to hear this this is funny so I'm getting over I'm sitting out here last night trying to you know relax and I'm you know getting over the the headache and so forth and um, you know my head was still sore and my phone goes off and I thought okay and I thought okay it's just a notification which it was and uh I'm I go to click I go to you know look at it now I, I didn't see the video that it was posted under it was a true crime video but I didn't see which one so I'm like you know reading the comment and it was talking about drones and high school students and all this and I'm like what what's that got to do with anything so I went back onto YouTube because I was looking on my YouTube studio on my phone and I went back looked on YouTube and it was under one of the true crime videos and I was like what does this have to do with okay and um I, I was just come to find out this person is I, I, he's not subscribed to me they're not subscribed to me and if they are I couldn't tell and I I, I don't know what that had to do with anything um you know I wasn't trying to be rude when I replied back but my thing is you know you're not subscribed to me and you know you watch my video okay but posting a random comment that had nothing to do with the video I, I'm confused now if it did I may have misread it I don't know but this person has never commented on any of my videos before. I mean, I bad enough, I barely get any comments as it is. But they've never commented. And I'm like, uh-huh, okay, weird. And I just started laughing. I was like, okay, whatever. So I just, you know, didn't, I just basically told them, you know, I don't know you. I don't understand what this has to do with this video and you know it's a random comment and of course they never replied back so I don't know if it's just you know a freaking robot I don't know I mean it doesn't matter I'm not stressing but yeah it was just kind of weird <laughs> because I was just like okay I'm already confused and dingy as it is I don't need to be even more dingier and made to feel even more dingier by a comment like that. That just totally, okay. So, whatever. <laughs> so, and I've been getting a lot of uh, weird um, comments anyway, explicit, um, just explicit comments from uh, YouTube channels that are porno pornography, yeah, nothing but porn, pornographic, and I just got to a point where I started deleting those, or not deleting them, but blocking them, because really, what the heck, I mean, I get it, there's a lot of people out there who don't have anything else better to do, but geez, seriously, I mean, okay, whatever floats your boat, but don't float it. Don't float your boat on my channel. 
just craziness. I'm telling you. I just, and every time I see one, I start laughing because I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, whatever. Because it's just, it's crazy. Um... That's it, guys. I promise. Usually, I mean, it's a little shorter video today than what I would usually post. And, um, but that's really all I have to talk about. So, I hope everyone has a great week and a great Thanksgiving. If I don't talk to you before them, for, before uh, Thanksgiving, please have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Also, reminder, guys, I am now an Avon rep. My website is down below in the description box please make sure you check it out and um there's a lot of stuff that's on sale for christmas so i will and with that being said i hope everyone has a great week and happy thanksgiving if i don't see you or talk to you before then